Hi there. So we are going to analyze the small signal model for a BJT biased in a common base configuration. So essentially, here is that equivalent model. And before analyzing this, we actually can draw the circuit for a BJT in common base. So what you have, let's say you have this transistor, NPN transistor, and it has uh, three pins, which is collector, base, and the emitter. And the base is common. It means base is connected to the ground. To the input side, to the emitter, we apply input signal, and that provides the signal input I in, which is also a emitter current flowing into the transistor, actually. So this is an NPN transistor as the direction of the arrow shows where the current flow is from collector to the emitter. But now we are applying the input signal to the emitter pin and therefore we can show the direction of the current flowing into the emitter. And then you have the load in the collector as usual and here is your positive supply and from the collector you take an output. So when you apply an input current IE uh, and then you have emitter current that flows in the opposite direction. So here the current that is flowing uh, through the collector pin is IC and you can write IC is negative of IE neglecting the contribution from the base current actually. Okay, and uh, so VO in this case is uh, minus uh, IE times RL. That is your input current divided by the uh, input current divided by uh, input current multiplied by the register. And therefore you actually can take a gain of this uh, circuit also, which is, uh, let me write, here you can write, for example, uh, VO divided by I in. Remember, IE is your I in, and take a magnitude of it, and it is RL. So actually, you have this uh, trans impedance amplifier, trans impedance amplifier. How will you make the voltage amplifier? That means you have to take the gain, the VO over v in okay so you can also have that gain so uh, let us do that so if you want to obtain the voltage gain of the amplifier we can actually uh, connect uh, draw the small signal model of this circuit which is shown right here so since i have the load connected rl let me model that here also so it will be from collector to the base base is grounded and when i want to draw this small signal model i want to make sure that the v plus is shorted to ground so it means the one end of the rl comes to the ground which is same as where the base is connected and the another end of the rl is connected to the collector pin so here it is now to the emitter pin i have to uh, uh, now to the emitter pin, I will use the just a second here. So to the emitter pin, uh, we have this input voltage source being connected, and uh, other end of the beam is connected to the ground. So we can actually draw that as if we are connecting the input voltage source right here. And remember, the base is connected to the ground here. So this is your V in. And now the input current that is flowing due to applied V in is I in, which is equal to I E. And that current flows through the resistance, which is R E. And R E is basically your voltage divided by the current. So that is V B E divided by I E. That is the emitter to base uh, junction resistance. And that 
uh, creates a drop actually. So here the VEB actually is equal to V in. Okay. And now uh, the collector current that flows through the collector pin is uh, a dependent current source, which is modeled as uh, the current controlled current source. So it is alpha times IE. So the value of IE controls the current. So IC is alpha times IE. And uh, we can say that IC divided by IE is equal to alpha. And uh, assuming that neglecting the contribution from the base current, IC is approximately equal to IE and therefore alpha is approximately equal to one. So we have a current gain of this amplifier to be one or less than or equal to one. So if we can use this as a current buffer actually or current amplifier, then we don't really have a current gain. So rather we use it as a current buffer but we can have a voltage gain as we are saying right here in this equation. So we can do that. So what we see here, the output voltage that is uh, taken at the collector pin with respect to base. So here is the output voltage, which is actually your collector current that is flowing through this register RL. So IC times RL. And we know that IC is alpha times IE into RL. And what is the value of IE? IE is VEB divided by the resistance. So alpha into VEB. Uh, well, one second. So here voltage VEB is equal to I times R. So I times RE. Therefore, IE is VEB divided by RE here times RL. And now you can actually uh, get the value of uh, VO divided by VEB is alpha times RE RL. And therefore, we know that VO divided by V in actually because uh, VEB is V in and it is equal to alpha is equal to one assuming uh, we have this expression for the voltage gain so your output voltage divided by input voltage is given by the value of rl okay and uh, so that's it so this is how we actually can uh, analyze this small signal model and compute for the voltages uh, and the currents and uh, we can derive the expression for different kinds of gains such as voltage gain, current gain, trans impedance gain, etc. So here also uh, we've just uh, seen that we've got the expression for trans impedance gain. Okay, so here for this common base you have a current gain equal to 1 and the voltage gain is equal to uh is is equal to uh is equal to this ratio of rl divided by re where re is the base emitter resistance so hope you understood this video if you did so share with others